Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Check out my channel for useful office automation videos. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to merge MS Word with MS Excel. Suppose you have a document, a payslip like this and you have a data in Excel and if you want to merge and generate the report for each of the row, so you can use a mail merge. So today we'll use a mail merge concept as well as a macro which will find a particular record and publish a generate your report so let's see how to do that the first step is to create a mail merge so if you are if you don't know how to you know, do mail merge here it is under mail links go to start mail merge select any of the document this tells you what kind of document it is all right I have I have already selected normal document and then select the data source that is nothing but your Excel Okay, select your uh, data source, browse, browse the Excel, and then select the actual Excel file. I have already selected, I'm gonna, not going to select it again. So the next step is to insert the fields. So you see here, you have all the fields, whatever you have in your Excel sheet. So you need to insert these fields according to their respective places. Suppose if you, if you are inserting name, place the cursor here against this field name and then insert. Alright, do that for all the fields. Okay, this I don't have data as of now. I will leave this blank. So the basic. I just have to remove this. Total earnings. All these uh, calculations are done in Excel. I'm not going to do any calculations in MS Word. I'm just taking the data from Excel. net salary okay and here uh, there's an interesting thing here I will show you in the Excel all right okay so I have in inserted all the fields let's go back to the Excel and see what is our data looks like so this is the database of our employee employees okay with some uh, 15 records and uh, so the interesting thing here is uh, the net pay is automatically converted into text. So this is your net pay and this is your net pay in words. So for that I have used the macro and I have written myself and this is what it is. Convert currency to English text. Okay, you can check out my channel for this video. I have uh, neatly explained how to do that. And I have uh, kept the code also. Alright, so coming back to this. Alright, I have inserted all the fields. Now the second part. We just finished with mail merge. The second part is to get the particular record. So how do you do that? For that I have a macro. If you run that, it will ask you for a key. Suppose uh, the name, if you take the name has a key, you have to pass one of these values and the entire row will get populated in your document. Alright, so let's see how to do that. So before that, if you want to check your data, whether it's correct or not, just go to mailings and they say preview results. Okay, so it's giving you the values from the Excel, the first row. You can examine it. Okay, all right. So the next thing is to uh, write a macro. I have already written. I'll just explain what it does. In the MS Word, go to developer tab and then visual basic. Okay, so my macro is this. Okay, basically it will ask you for the key and it stores and corresponding field will be filtered based on the value inputted by the user. So let's run this. So for now, I will get the data for John. 
okay so i have to run that macro so how do you run go to macros and then get data is the name of macro run okay i will query for john from the excel and the date all the information pertaining to john will be populated here all right this is how it is so do it again i will do it for sima now Across. Okay, say okay. Right, it got changed. 